Hi everyone, this is Nuresh here. As we have seen in our previous post about Fibonacci retracements and Fibonacci numbers and the golden ratio, we had posted up a video wherein we saw that the Fibonacci number has been a very old finding and it has been found in our body, in paintings, in architecture and in various different places even in our DNA molecule. So let's see how does this work in our stock markets. Now first of all, we'll like to start off with something, some markets which have been there for a long time or we have a data for a longer period. Now we'll start off with something like Dow Jones Index. Now here we have the chart out here which is a quarterly chart of Dow Jones Index right from 1900s to the current date. Now if you see here, I've plotted a Fibonacci replacement. Now out here we have put in two major levels which is 38.2% and 61.8% now 61.8% being the golden ratio in such a case we'll see that these are the two major retracements which market makes whenever it corrects big time in after a very huge run up now if we see here we'll take the very first run up from 1929 to somewhere around 1938 which was the run up after the great economic depression now I believe during that period we had no such charting tools as such. Now we have plotted the Fibonacci retracement for the 1929, the run starting 1929 to somewhere around 1938-37. Now if you see the correction is almost 61.8% of the rally. Now during this period I believe we had no charting softwares. Maybe the people out there would have only got some pins and pages to calculate on. So during this part of time, if we see the first dip from this levels has been to 61.8%. Again it took support around 61.8%. After which we took a big rally. Now this was one of the major corrections which took place. Now after this period, if you see all this are very small corrections apart from the one starting out here. Now if we see out here, if we zoom up to the area. Now if we see again out here in this correction which started around 1987 which was another economic period wherein it was considered to be a minor recession or something. I'm not very clear about it. Now if you see out here the correction has been almost near to 61.8% not nearly 61.8 percent but you could term it to be a 50 percent correction now this was the start of a major rally starting around 1980s through which the Ogens index started off around 800 to 900 levels and end up till 10,000 levels which is a tenfold rise now if you see before the start of this correction correction out here. Now if you see again the correction has corrected something like 61.8 percent moved up with a double bottom formation and this has been the major breakout after which around 900 to 1000 points or 1200 points for the Dow Jones index. If you see out here all the major corrections in the previous part of the rallies were always found to be 38.2 percent to 61.8 percent. Now it is not sub surprising to see that such an occurrence could happen all the time again. Now this is the recent most correction which happened around 2003 zone. Now if you see the correction is again 38.2% of the whole rally. Now this was the point of time wherein all people got bearish on the index and we saw reversal. Now we will try to see this thing for the recent correction. You we'll see it on the monthly basis. Now seeing this on a monthly basis for the recent correction, I'll be taking the bottommost point made in around 2002. Now the current rally 
right from 7500 7000 to 7500 odd levels to 14000 which was the recent top we have seen a correction of almost to an extent of 38 to 0.2% with a very approximate say a difference of say something like 100 odd points on the maximum side now if we see again after a long time we have seen a correction wherein we have corrected 38.2% now can we term this to be the end of the correction maybe yes maybe no well because we are seeing it over a very huge monthly period so we would see if 11,500 if you term it to be the end of the correction we could again be headed, headed higher but a little much slower in case of a very different scenario which would be a total recession economically if we go beyond 11,500 on the lower side it seems a less probable scenario we could end up to 10,000 levels which in case would be digesting of all the recessionary reasons so considering 11,500 to be an important zone we could go all the way to say that we might have seen the worst now this has been the monthly case previously we saw quarterly cases wherein we saw corrections right from 1930s wherein there was no charting tools there were no calculators so easily available now if this is the case now let us see it on a daily basis whether we find such occurrences again again on a daily basis I will try to plot this replacement level for the recent most correction which again if we see on a closing basis comes up to 38.2 percent and on a daily basis if we see the reversal from this point has been huge so we'll consider this point this to be a very nimblistic trade or a free trade possibly which I'm not sure of Now this has been the recent correction as you see we have been only talking about corrections throughout because we have been in a bull valley and we have seen a major downturn right now so what happens in a downturn now this was the fall the major fall which happened in a span of two weeks or four weeks but in the Dow corrected to 11,500 now the retracement has come up to 61.8% which was hit twice so this gives you a hint that if you are playing for a bounce back you should be having your target levels around 38.2% or 68.8% so this has been the occurrences of Fibonacci over Dow Jones index and surely we will later see such occurrences being recorded for the, Bom the Bombay Stock Exchange the NSE Nifty and maybe some other more indices in future so we'll soon come out with a view uh, with a similar recording on pin 6 which we have seen has been following Fibonacci replacements very well on our blog so let's see for the next video next time bye bye